What's the best way to measure a snake? Is it with a measuring tape? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you the technique that I use to measure my snakes. My name is Nick Pulaski. Ever since I was young, I've had two passions, wildlife and filmmaking. My goal is to combine those two passions to make wildlife content. My passion for wildlife and my collection of exotic species is constantly growing. Come follow along as I pursue my goals of educating, inspiring, exploring, and conserving wildlife, all while having fun, seeing the beauty of our natural world. So when measuring a snake like this ball python female that I have here, it's really difficult to use a measuring tape for any kind of snake because as you can see they kind of twirl all around and just trying to get like the angles and stuff like that perfectly straight and spread out the snake is actually a rather difficult thing and it's not very accurate. So if you're trying to find a precise way to go about measuring your snake, it may try leading you to using the snake shed skin. Now that way is not a good way as well. The epidermal layer of the skin, which is the outer layer of the skin, is actually 15% longer than the actual snake would be. So it's also not a good way of me accurately measuring a snake. What is a good accurate way to measure a snake is actually using a string and actually guiding the string down the snake's back starting at the tail then moving up towards the head. That's the easiest way to go about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this technique on my girl right here and we're going to see how long she is. Now I'm doing this by myself and that's because this is a ball python and they don't move that fast. But if I was doing this with say something like a reticulated python or a milk snake, rat snake, any sort of species of snake that's more on the go, I may want two people with me just so one is measuring and one is holding the snake in place so they're not constantly getting away from them or anything like that. But this is something that I can manage right on my own so we're going to do it and we're going to see how long she is. And if you have any guesses down in the comments on how long my girl is right here, she's a full grown adult ball python female, just leave them in the comments right now and we'll see if you're right at the end of the video. Normally this would be like a two person job but as you can see she doesn't move that fast so I figured this would be easy for me to do. So how you initially start is you take the tip of the string right here and what we're gonna do is you're going to start right at the tail and you go right along the back so you just kind of guide the string along the back of the snake and you just keep placing your fingers down the body then you hold, I'm going to bring her back around here, and I'm going to continue. Like I said, really easy with the ball python. Almost there. Almost there, girl. Just got to move you a little bit. So close. And Got it. So this right here, where I have my fingers, is exactly where she is in length. So now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna let her do her thing. We're gonna unravel this guy. I'm going to extend out my tape measure here, like so. We'll start out at one end, she is kind of wrapping around me right now. And what we're seeing right here is that she's about four and a half feet in length from the measurement. So that's what this girl is right now, she is four and a half feet in length, which is what I about figure she would be. But um, And that's common for ball pythons to be about this size, especially the females and then the males are normally about a little bit smaller. But uh, yeah, that's what she is. She is a beautiful, healthy, four and a half foot ball python female. So there you guys go. That's all you need to figure out how to measure a snake. There are other methods, but that's the one method I've used in the past and I was successful with. And as you can see, I mean, it's a very accurate way to measure a snake. Don't go off of shed skins and don't go off of just trying to measure the snake with a measuring tape because it's not really accurate. But regardless, if you guys have any other questions or any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below, as well as give the method a try and let me know how long your snakes are when you measure them. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you could do me a couple favors, if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, I will see you guys soon.